We recently demonstrated how to build two different types of rainwater harvesting systems for community gardens using 50 gallon barrels. Today we're visiting the Columbia Secondary School Garden to demonstrate how to build a smaller system that can serve as both a functional and educational piece. This garden is a learning space for students in the neighborhood and the rainwater system will help teach young people about water conservation while also improving the garden's much needed access to water. Today we're working at Columbia Secondary School Garden installing a small rainwater harvesting system, almost an educational uh, type of tool where students will be able to look at the different parts of this system up close. As you can see, it's built kind of low. We built this sort of as a kit. It's a small uh, system, as you can see behind me here, nine feet by a little more than four feet. Though on the smaller side, this structure will include the typical elements of a rainwater system, including a metal roof and gutter, a downspout that feeds into a rain barrel, which sits on top of a platform and overflows onto the ground. The structure was pre-cut off-site, and we're putting it together here, starting with the roof. We used pressure-treated 2x6 and 2x4 lumber to make the frame. Once the headers and joists of the frame are connected, it's time to cut the metal sections of the roof. We carried the roof framing to the back of the garden where the structure is going and attached it to our 4x4 posts. The roof framing was connected using screws and then the tops of the 4x4 posts were cut so that we could drop the metal pieces in place. The metal is connected using special screws that have seals, which prevent any leaking. The final step for the roof is attaching the metal gutter. We use 2x6 pieces to tie the posts together and make sure that the structure doesn't wobble when pushed or move during storms. On day two, we're back to install the downspout and connect the rain barrel. We use two inch PVC piping for this, which can be purchased at most hardware stores. The piping is connected to the barrel and then continued toward the back of the structure where it drops down as an overflow for any extra water entering the system. Okay, and that's it. The system at Columbia Secondary School is complete. Water will collect from the roof surface drop into this leader right here, move in that direction. It's a little bit high on the far end. So the first thing that happens is that the water reaches this T right here, moves in this direction, and fills the barrel. Once the barrel becomes full, the water is at about this level here, and the overflow comes back here and overflows down in underneath of the structure onto a splash pad. Right now it's set for winter. So this is uh, water collection, spring, summer, and fall. Uh, so this will allow the water to come in this direction. During the winter when we don't want the tank to be full, we'll leave the valve, or the spigot, on the front of it open and we'll close this so that any rain in the winter can't push in this direction, it just overflows keeps the tank dry. And now our system is complete and ready to accept the next rain. Building a demonstration rainwater system is a great way to capture rainwater and teach community members about the benefits of water conservation. For more information on this and other urban green infrastructure projects, visit growNYC.org.